Morning everyone. Here we are Saturday the 14th of November. It's been uh, a beautiful morning. It's uh, mid 40s right now and the sun's shining as you can see in the sky. I'm gonna flip this camera around and you can see how big the uh, two boys have gotten. Don't mind those buckets there. They are uh, some potatoes. We tried to get a late batch. We only got a handful out of there. But we dumped the, the dirt and the old plants in there. These boys, they are ready to eat. They got some grain in their pan still. But let's give them our leftover breakfast, which is some waffles, some eggshells, some potatoes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here. Come on. All right. All right. Here we go. Look at this. Here. Sorry for the shaking of the... Oh, they're just... They love leftovers. There's a little bit of soup in here from last night. I know, you're not supposed to give them processed food. This little bit of stuff here has some onions in it. has some garlic in it. It has some 100% pure real maple syrup from us. We make our own. Uh, maybe I'll get a... I'm going to clean the evaporator today, get ready for spring. Maybe I'll throw a video of that out there so you guys can see how that goes. That's probably one of my favorite things to do. Look, look at them, just go into town. Being pigs. And they are not starving. They just, obviously you've seen there's food in the pan. This is just how competitive they are first thing in the morning. So, that's Wilbur. That's Porky. So far, the uh, I did put a bunch of leaves in here to keep the smell down. So as we cleaned up the yard, this is uh, I bagged them. I uh, used a lawn vac to clean them up. This is their house. That piece right there that's cut on an angle, that's on there because they're small yet. As they get bigger, I will pull that off. This is the house I built for them out of stuff I just had laying around. And a little bit of ice in the top of their bucket. Tells you how cold it was this morning. But the water works well. Just gravity fed. And they still got a pumpkin here and there, but that's about all that's left of the pumpkins that were here the other day. We had uh, two or three big ones. But this is what they do, folks. And they're going to get their bellies full because this is just how they eat. And then this afternoon, I will bring out another scoop of 16% uh, hog pellets. And they'll tinker at that too. See, there's some eggshells in there. There's just, there's a banana in there. I probably should have taken that sticker off. I look at it this way. If they're not supposed to eat it, they're not going to eat it. The other thing I'll do here is I will clean out the fire pit later today from our, we have a campfire pit for sitting around in the evenings. And I'll put some of the larger chunks of charcoal in here in a separate pan, probably that little one over there. And that will help them tremendously from what I'm told as they eat and get, if they get a belly ache, the charcoal helps them. But they are digging holes in here, as you can see here. This is just, it's hard to tell on the camera. But they just root and dig, and we're hoping they stir this up a little bit. Because come springtime, I am going to put a cover crop in here for the chickens. Because this is technically our chicken run. There's all my maple tubing up in the woods. There's our chicken coop attached to this side. And then on the other side of this fence, you can see the difference there. That one's moonscaped, as they say. Oh, if you're wondering what these tires are, my wife puts sand in those for the chickens when they're in here so they can dust bath. And they, well, those were full. It's now empty. And that one's pretty compacted and just about empty also. But there's one of our coops there. Here's the other one. And this run has turned into a pig pen. If they destroy this too much, 
I'll move them over to this side and move their fence. It takes a, I don't know, those fence posts are about three dollars a piece. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have twelve in here. So for thirty-six bucks and a roll of fence wire that I had and a, a bag of insulators, which was five dollars, clips on a fence post. This is really affordable so far. The pegs were sixty-seven dollars a piece. And I am still on my first bag of feed. Here we are, two weeks into this, two weeks in a day. So I think they're growing. They look like they're growing. I need to measure them and take a little bit of weight, see how big they are now. We'll go from there. Check back soon, guys. Oh, and I also have a heat lamp in there for at night because it does get kind of chilly, and they are kind of small yet. But that, that, that whole box there, it's full of hay. And they burrow down into it, cover themselves up. They're kind of comical. But once this one, if they destroy that paddock pen area, like I said, I'll move them over to this side. I have a door on, on both of these. And then, worst case, if they get too big, I'll move them out here into the garden, which is also leaves and a couple pieces of bracing we were burning up when we were burning leaves. But we'll put them out here. And section this off into probably four sections, if not six, and they'll turn this up for me too. Come spring, it'll all be ready to go and hopefully improved. But the, uh, getting back to the leaves, if I didn't mention it, if I already did, forgive me. This is for to keep the smell down. The leaves break down, they munch on them, they dig on them, they spin them with the dirt. It keeps the smell down. I do not smell pigs right now. And if you all know, pigs stink. There ain't no other way to put it. There's no mud wallows. There's, it, it, it works really, really well. And they're breaking down the oak leaves that don't break down until June. Check back soon, guys. Click the subscribe button. Thanks for following the Crichton Family Adventures. You may see another one come out today uh, with some of the other things going on around here. Have a great day.